Okay, well, um, I'm Greg James, owner of Precision Music Products Limited. The um, problem with gouging cane is that uh, one is dealing with material which is not perfectly straight or round since it's a naturally growing plant. In the case of cane that's too big, um, the center part of the cane will tend to be sitting off the trough. And uh, in the case of cane that's too small, of course, the edges are sitting up. And in either case, whatever is sitting up will tend to be gouged too thin. And so you can have either this situation, a piece of cane that's too big, leaving daylight in the center, or you can have this situation, the cane too small, and leaving daylight on the sides. Now, if we push down on the edges, they're made to conform, and you get uniform contact. And that's intuitively clear that that will happen. What isn't quite so clear, if you have a piece of cane that's too big so that the center is sitting up, if you push down on the edges, it also conforms the cane to the trough because it pushes down the center. What I've been trying to do is to get the cane to conform more consistently to the uh, curvature of the trough. And I have um, designed a special method of clamping the cane in the bed. And so right now, I'd just like to go through um, the three steps involved in using this process. Pre-gouging, a special, um, what I call, constant arc filiere, and finally the finish gouging process. The uh, purpose of the pre-gouging process is to reduce the overall thickness of the cane and make the cane more pliable and more easily conformed to the bed of the gouger and also, of course, to save time and to save wear and tear on the gouger. The thickness has now been reduced to about 85 hundredths of a millimeter. So the next step, the constant arc filiere, will reduce this piece of cane to a uniform cross-section. It also has spring-loaded hold downs which press down on the edges of the cane and in the center. And this is the edge clamping gouger which grips the cane by its edges and then applies downward pressure to the edges in order to conform the cane to the surface of the trough and uh, achieve a consistent gouge. There, there are various concepts, various concepts going around of, of, um, sh of height of shaper tip and length, <laughs> length of, of, of <laughs> Cane, you know, and you can it gives you the, the, op yep. the opportunity to tie it longer. As long as it fits on, on on the length of your shaper, you can get a long. Sometimes you might want to get a longer tie, and give you, <laughs> <laughs> you know, a different opening. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>